Hi guys. weird position because I'm trying to prop it up on a pillow because it's not charged in my iPad. What's going on guys? Finkel Catherine's here, Stella's here, Hyper's here, Persephone's here. Hi Stella darling, how are you? Am I late or am I on time? The dog's eating the cat's food again, I can hear her. Gosh, Hi guys. Hi Catherine, hi JB, hi Jasmine, hi everyone. Hopefully I got the time right on the Facebook group. 8 o'clock Australian time, 8.30. I didn't realise it was daylight saving yesterday when I put the time I was going live. Because we don't have daylight saving over here in the West. Because it's so fucking backward. Hi Sophie, hi JB, hi guys, have you got any questions for me? It's not going to be the longest live in the world because I don't want to stay on here. I'm so tired today. I had to actually lay down to have a nap today and I didn't actually have a nap but I just lay there for a little while. It must have been mercury retrograde <laughs> getting to me. <laughs> I don't normally have a nap in the day. Loz, can you explain the benefit of revision? Neville actually says if you do nothing but revise, you can manifest everything you want. He used to revise the end of his day every day. It's literally going back and changing the past to what you wish had happened. All it is, is that the past is just a memory and all you're doing is changing your memory of it and therefore it proceeds forth into the future, like Back to the Future and changes the future and the present. Just like in Back to the Future, the movie. Okay, it's basically a whole movie about revision. He goes back, he, he ac accidentally messes with his parents' relationship unknowingly and he has to fix it. But he changes the outcome with the clock striking and the the dock being shot by the Leban Lebanese or whatever it is about the plutonium. Remember he goes back and changes the future? That's what revision's like. It's literally like back to the future. When they're scrubbing out the picture of the parents and he starts disappearing, his hand starts disappearing, he starts disappearing when he's playing the guitar and then he comes, it comes back on the picture because he started disappearing because he changed the story that his parents didn't get together, that his mum was actually in love with him and then he wouldn't have been born. It was a whole, it's a whole movie about revision. So he goes back and revises the plutonium thing so the doc doesn't get shot. Mm -hmm. And the doc puts a bulletproof vest on or whatever he does because he, he knew about the story. Okay, but that's a whole movie about revision. So it's the same kind of thing except it's really true. So I wonder if the author of, of um, Back to the Future had read Neville or knew about revision, I wonder. Well, so I've been manifesting my social anxiety a way that people enjoy talking i had so many conversations oh that you enjoy talking wonderful darling that's great oh that's wonderful how do i handle when my sp pulls away i just need a reminder well stop saying they pull away darling and when they do don't react just think they're constantly coming towards me they're just a bit shy they're just busy at the moment they've got other priorities and then say but i'm their top priority they want to spend all their time with me so give it an excuse while they're pulling away in your 3d that can make sense to you give it good meaning Okay, they've got other things going on at the moment. It's got nothing to do with me. And then start changing it and saying, they're constantly coming towards me. They never pull away from me. They need to be with me all the time. They need to spend all their time with me. Mm -hmm. Hello, Loz. Why does a fear that you got rid of in the past come back? Because it's your subconscious fighting you. It'll, it keeps hold of the fears because it's trying to keep you safe, darling. Mm hmm mm. Laws, I'm manifesting my, I'll that one. Started manifesting SP in August. He messaged me this past Saturday. Oh, ever did he? Oh, wonderful, darling. Oh, that's great. What were you doing? Is there a better way to tell the difference between a better self-concept and your ego? Your ego is your subconscious, darling. You're talking about feeling egotistical, about feeling better about yourself. There's nothing egotistical about liking yourself more about thinking you're good enough there's nothing egotistical about that that's from a belief that you've got from childhood where you're not allowed to big yourself up too much or make a show of yourself you're meant to play small why is playing small a good thing don't confuse being confident and loving yourself and loving life and wanting the best out of life with ego your ego is simply your subconscious mind it's your brain telling you constantly who it thinks you are 
That's why narcissists look like they have giant egos, but really it comes from a place of massive insecurity and their subconscious is constantly trying to show the world a facade of them. Look how great I am. Look how wonderful I am. Look how sexy I am. I don't need anyone, right? Because they're so insecure inside and don't like themselves. So they look like they have a big ego, but it's all a facade and an act to cover what they really feel about themselves that their subconscious is very, very, very aware of. Mm -hmm. God, I love it how the dog has to just like lie under the camera and snore. When I put this on YouTube, people will be like, they'll come across me and be like, what the fuck is that noise in this chick's background of her videos? Um, hi, Loz. I was asking for affirmations to get motivated for working out and general life feeling meh. Yes. And where's the rest of it, Kimmy? Was there the rest of that? I was asking for affirmations to get motivated for working out and general life feeling meh. Yes. And? Narcissist SP, how do I change him? Or is it even possible to manifest him to change? You've got to stop saying he's a narcissist. You've got to stop describing that way. You've got to stop seeing the qualities in him that turns up that way. And you've got to start saying whatever the opposite of the behaviors you don't like about him, start saying that he's doing the opposite. He's coming towards me. He makes everything about me now. He always talks about me. He always makes so much time for me. His love is so genuine and real. He shows me his true feelings. He drops all his facade and shows me the real him. Say all those things. Don't react to the old him and he'll be different. Loss, it's my 30th birthday today. Oh, Jasmine, happy birthday, darling. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jasmine. Happy birthday to you. Wonderful, darling. Oh, to be 30 again. I'd love to be 30. <laughs> Wonderful, darling. What are you doing for birthday? At So I looked at the schemas and I have 10 out of the 18. Oh, you looked at the schema therapy. You have 10 out of the 18. Oh, God. Jesus. Yeah, hey, look, it's quite daunting when you go through the schema quiz because you think, oh, my God, look how much fucked up stuff I've got. But there'll be stuff that's really prevalent um, more than others, and that's what you kind of need to work on. Mine, I had really prevalent ones, and then hardly any of the other ones. Don't let it throw you, darling. Don't let it put you off fixing yourself. It's totally fixable. What have you got turned off? I have feelings, but I'm disgusted because how dare he treat me average. What's this, Danny Marie? Well, it's probably because your self-concept's getting better. Loz, anytime I see you, I'm going to say thanks. Anything this woman tells you is like, take it as gospel. Oh, positive, Barry. Why? What's happened? Everything's going great? What am I, darling? Hooray. Oh, no need, darling. Uh, how do I stop overthinking every single thing he does? Julia, it's because you feel fucking insecure and you're fearful and you're overthinking and reading into everything because you don't feel secure in yourself. You don't feel he loves you because you don't feel lovable. You feel like he's going to reject you because you're fearing getting rejected. You're thinking he's going to abandon you because somewhere in childhood, someone fucking abandoned you. I don't know what it is, but something's going on. It's got nothing to fucking do with him. If you're overthinking everything he's doing, it's because you're reading into it too much because you put him on a pedestal and made him more important than you and you're trying to psychoanalyze every little thing he's doing rather than building yourself up and thinking, Jesus, why do I need to analyze what he's doing? He should be analyzing what I'm doing. He should be afraid to lose me. I'm taking that fucker down off the pedestal and putting myself up there. And he should make it very clear how he feels and I shouldn't have to overthink anything because I'm up on the throne. Darling. Just everything is amazing. Oh, is it? Oh, wonderful positive fairy. That's great. If wasn't holding my iPad, I'd clap. <laughs> That's great, darling. Uh, what are some ways to heal childhood issues without therapy? Well, it'll be in my self-concept course. Okay, so it'll be assessing yourself, figuring out what your childhood issues are and then affirming against them creating a new story of you, creating a new state to be in forever and a day, and every time you drop out of it, you just go back to it. Mm -hmm. Working on your self-concept. Struggling with self-concept, reminding myself that I'm my own God, trying to get out of this headspace. Yes, guys, it's a really good idea to remind yourself that you are your own God, and you are running this reality. It's a really good reminder every day to tell yourself, hang on, wait. Why am I getting annoyed at this shit? I created it because I'm God of my reality. So why am I getting annoyed at the 3D? Why am I getting annoyed at my third part, the third party? Why am I getting annoyed at my SP? I did it all. Very good reminder, guys. If you wake up in the morning and say, I am the king of my reality, or I'm the queen of my reality, or I run this shit, or I'm a master manifester, and what I say goes, do that every day. Um, 
um, haven't met my SP's friends or family. It bothers me, but he doesn't seem worried. What can I do? Well, it bothers you, darling, because you feel like that means you're not a priority. He doesn't love you. He doesn't want you. He's not showing you off because that's about your insecurities. It's got nothing to do with him. You've got to start thinking, why do I feel that way? I remember thinking like that once and I realized it was my insecurity of feeling like he wasn't over his ex and therefore he wasn't showing me off to the new family. Even though they knew about me, I'd never met family members and it really bothered me. And I built a whole story about why I hadn't met the family members and it meant that he wasn't serious about me and that was my insecurity. And then it was a link to a story about he wasn't over his ex and that's why he hadn't introduced me to the family and da -da 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 -da. it was just a whole story in my fucking head. It meant nothing. Assess why that bothers you, darling. It's got nothing to do with him. He'll continue to make that choice of not introducing you to the family until you get rid of that thought about it being a bad thing. Start saying, he introduces me to everyone. He shows me off to everyone as his girl. And then he will. And get rid of that insecurity you've got about why. Figure out why that bothers you. Hello. I've been imagining telling you my success story. Oh, Nat, I saw about all the DMs. Update after Friday's date. Oh, wonderful. That's great, Nat. My money's doubled. Oh, has it, Danny Marie? That's great. Should I text her to go out because I am a man or let her ask me? Well, darling, you be in your king energy and ask her from a place of confidence? Absolutely. Why not? Oh, Lord, my affirmations. I'm a crypto millionaire. Guess whose stocks are going to be zeros right now? Berserk. Are going to zeros? Darling, you know how long I've had crypto that goes from nothing to heap and then nothing? It just sits there. I don't even look at it. Stop fucking looking at it. Start looking at the 3D. When you've got crypto, you've got to not look at the 3D. Give it five years and never look at it. I've had crypto for three years. I haven't looked at the price of Bitcoin for a year. Don't look at it. Is that what you're talking about? Stop looking at it. It's like looking at the 3D. It's a really good exercise in not looking at the 3D, Danny Murray. Stop checking the prices. Stop checking them. I think they mean zeros as in lights of zeros, millions. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I thought you meant it's going to zero. I always think how funny that we ended up together or is that okay or just play it into old story. Yes, if there's a great meeting story, like if you've got a great, oh, isn't it funny how we met, stick it in the, the new story. Isn't it so funny how we met, babe? It was, so, so, it was such synchronicity, it was such a weird coincidence how we met. If you've got a great story, stick it in, absolutely. Hi, Bella Bean. Do we script the same thing every day for the challenge? Help. No, you don't script. Look, you can either do the same thing every day or different scripts every day. I would personally do different scripts every day on a theme of like our life together or him telling me how he feels about me or whatever it is. Different. Or they could be completely different. Okay, but it's stepping into the new state of the new you and the new them. My favorite SP affirmation right now is I am the only one who's in my SP's mind, heart and life. Oh, that's wonderful, darling. I love that. I could do a like everyone else on TikTok and copy that and make my own video about it and get 4 million views. <laughs> like everyone else does in my fucking videos. Morning, Loz. Oh, Loz, should I delete old photos of my SP when manifesting them back? No, guys, unless it really triggers you. Don't go and delete their photos. Look at, the, look at them and think you're together. A firm for money, insurance company is demutualizing, getting a check between 5 to 4K next month. Oh, wonderful. Do negative dreams mean anything about SP? No, darling, only if you give it meaning. Just don't give it bad meaning. Just be like, oh, well, I'm getting rid of the old thoughts about him. Good. Purging that shit out. Mm -hmm. I spiral when I have to see him acting unfavorably every day. Well, Katie, it's because your thinking hasn't changed. Change it. Get rid of the old story. Got my hands hurting from holding the iPad. Yes, thank you. I go back and forth between past and future while scripting, but still the desired outcome. Good. Good, darling. Hello. Oh. Thank you. You're so real and helpful. Oh, you're welcome, darling. Uh, do you, uh, hang on. I asked you a few times, but I'm recording this one to remember baby due in December. Oh, what's this thing? Oh, where's the rest of it? Did you ask me a question and I've missed it, darling? Where is it? How to manifest health when you're really sick for years. Is that the one you're asking me, darling? And you're pregnant at the moment? How to manifest health when you've been really sick for years? Is that the same person? Um, yes, look, all you need to do, okay, is imagine you're healthy, okay, and imagine your healthy birth, 
if your baby's due in December. So I want you to imagine my, say things like, my baby came into the world so healthily. My baby is so healthy because I'm so healthy. I'm the healthiest I've ever been. My body knows how to do this. My body knows how to heal everything inside of it that was ever wrong. My body is healing itself daily. My body is so ready for a baby, mm -hmm, if that's what you're talking about. Um, I had the healthiest birth and then go to like, my baby is so healthy. Um, I have a beautiful bouncing baby that's so healthy. So things like that, as if it's already like leading up to it and then it's already happened. That's what you're talking about? I think I've, I've I mixed two questions together. Loz, what if I'm over age and trying for a miracle pregnancy? Well, darling, I'm over age. Who fucking cares? Stop thinking it's a problem. If you listen to what doctors tell you, it's like a doctor giving a prognosis that you'll be dead in three weeks and the person dies exactly in three weeks. There are other people who will not listen to what the doctor said and live another 14 years. I know a lot of people have done that. I know a lot of people who've lived through really bad prognosis with cancer that are still fucking alive 14, 15, 12, 10 years later, three years later, and the doctor was adamant they were going to be dead in a couple of months. Adamant. And I know other people who were told the exact date and by the exact date, they carved it. And the two people I know that did that, that are close to my family, literally gave up. Gave up. Because they listened. Are you going to give up because you listened? I've got a grandson. My friend, same age as me, has a baby. Same age as my grandson. We're 40s. Exactly. Exactly. Since dominant thoughts play in 3D, what if you're firm against the fear? Then it won't happen, right? Since dominant thoughts plays in the 3D, what if you're firm against the fear? Then it won't happen. Yeah, you're firming against the fear. Exactly. What do you think about the moon affecting manifestations? Oh, I'm not even going to answer that question. It's ridiculous, darling. It's a moon. It's a planet. You honestly think that's affecting your subconscious mind because you've got water in you. What? No. No. Thank you so much. You helped me a lot in changing my subconscious. So much love from Egypt. Oh! Oh, I've never been there. I've always been loving to go there. Always wanting to go there. Terrible prognosis and still alive. What's this? Oh, well, don't worry about the fucking prognosis, darling. Just throw that out the window. But I know someone who has been alive for about 25 years and the dude has been apparently dying for 25 years. And every time you see him around, he's hobbling around his wheelchair and he's walking cane. Everyone's like, hi, John. He's like, hello. Like the guy refuses to die. <laughs> like he's just like a miracle patient. I also know another person... My, well, I shouldn't say who it is, but when I went to, well, I'll say, when I was at drama school, uh, the first day of drama school, our drama teacher said, this is the first thing he announced in the big auditorium people, I've got AIDS. <laughs> everyone went, okay, and he goes, if you've got a problem with that, leave now. And everyone was like, oh, we have a problem with that. Okay, well, we're fine. We're, we're all fine. He's the longest living AIDS patient in the world. And he slept with Freddie Mercury. Okay? The guy refuses to die. Just saying. <laughs> um, oh my God, the law of attraction community has literally brainwashed me for months. Well, fucking get out of there, darling. They are no help you. They will confuse you with moon water and all kinds of fucking shit. Stop listening to those idiots. Just watch my videos, darling. Go to the Facebook group if you're lost, if they've confused you. I've been having birds for land like crazy lately. Every guy that was slash in my life is hitting me up. <laughs> It's funny how that happens. It, it just does. And like randoms. And you're like, dude, I haven't spoken to you in 15 years. What the fuck? Why are you in my DMs? Go away. Lois, I'm currently off work. You're just stressed. Well, stop saying you're stressed. I'm so stress-free. I'm so able to handle my emotions. Everything in my life is perfect. Nothing bothers me anymore. I'm so calm. I'm so serene. I know how to calm myself. Mm -hmm. But I love having days off, though, for no reason. So those things. My SP is back and my anxiety is through the roof about keeping him. Oh, God. Guys, if they've come back and you're worried about keeping them, well, you so obviously haven't worked on your self-concept enough. You should feel confident enough that they're not going anywhere because they're back because they love you. They're back because they love me. They're back because they love me. They're back because they fucking love me. If you're paranoid about le them leaving again and you're not going to be able to keep them, you won't be able to keep them because that's a fear running you and you haven't worked on your self-concept. You've got to think more than anything, they're back because they love me and work on that shitty self-concept, darling, and do not react to anything they fucking do. How do you do shadow work? I do not believe in that shit, darling. I believe in changing your childhood beliefs. I think shadow work is a load of crap because it's talking about having a dark side and no one's got a fucking dark side. 
It's just because of your childhood. Good morning, everyone. 5.55 a.m. here. Oh, wonderful. How long is it so long that I know my manifestations aren't working and I shouldn't be patient anymore? What are you talking about? It's always working. Do you have anything in your life right now that you don't like? Ta-da, it's working. You did that. Guys, if it's taking a long time, I don't want to know what to tell you. You've lost as hell. You've come from the LOA world where someone's told you you can manifest in 17 seconds or three weeks or six months or some bullshit. It's not magic. It's changing your thinking. Have you changed your thinking enough? Have you convinced yourself that it's true? Or are you looking at the 3D waiting for it to show up like a fuckwit who's been listening to an LOA teacher who said, go and have inspired action. It, look for signs. If you see this sign, it means it's coming. Have you been listening to any of those fuckwits, darling? That's why you're feeling despondent because it's not here yet because you've been listening to some fuckwits. You've got to convince yourself that it's here already. Have you done that? That's why it's not here. I manifested a cup of tea yesterday. Small, but it builds the beliefs. What have you done together? Cup of tea. I've changed my sleep affirmations. I've been grumpy ever since. Is that normal? Yes, guys. If they're more intense or they're different or your mind's got used to the old ones, now you've got new ones, trust me, you won't sleep. I changed mine the other night. I've had two really bad nights sleep. That's probably why the last couple of nights I've not been able to sleep because I changed it to my really intense ones. It's probably explaining why I had to have a nap today. It just made me realise. Um, what affirmation should I use and why SP is back? That they love me, that they're constantly wanting to spend time with me, that they're so committed to me. Whatever it is you want from them and then work on your self-concept about the shit that caused you to break up in the first place. Like you feeling insecure, you thought, thinking about other girls being a problem, you thinking you're not pretty enough, you putting them on a pedestal. What was making you break up in the first place? Work on that. What's the difference between laws and LOA? <laughs> laws and LOA. LOA says... Law of attraction says you're attracting something, that something outside of you, you're sending your thought out and something outside of you decides and sends something to you that it decides to send you, like a universe or a higher power or some bullshit. Nothing outside of you is sending you anything, okay? The source energy that's doing it all is your subconscious mind and it's in you, God in you, source in you, subconscious mind, infinite intelligence, whatever you want to call it, sends out your thought it goes in other people's minds because they are one. There is no separation. And then they reflect back to you what you were thinking dominantly. That's all it is. It's going from your mind to their mind and back to you. Your mind to their mind and back to you. It's not going to some space place or a fucking vortex where someone sitting on a cloud or doing something in the stars decides what aligns for you and what's best for you. You decide what's fucking best for you. That's why none of that makes any fucking sense. And you're not attracting anything. You're literally just reflecting out, reflecting back, reflecting out, reflecting back. So if you want to change your reality, you've got to reflect out what you do want, not what you don't want. Lol, law of laws. <laughs> God damn it. Laws, I hadn't been in contact with my SP since the summer and he texted and called me on Sunday. Oh, what am I doing? All right, what were you doing? As a beginner... I have many stuff to affirm. Any advice? As a beginner, I have many stuff to affirm. We all do, darling. Go and sit down for 20 minutes, write down all your thoughts, then read them. And you'll think, oh my God, look at this negative shit, I think. Then affirm, make up affirmations completely opposite to every single negative thought that focuses on your self-concept, that focuses on you, changing you. Mm -hmm. Work on those affirmations. Mm. Need some of that to rub off on SP now. Some of what, Stella? My ex was messaging me constantly and still messaging me and thinking about me constantly. Need some of that to rub off on SP. No, you don't need it to rub off on SP. What you need to do, Stella, is change the story of your SP. You obviously haven't changed it enough. You don't give a shit about the ex, but you give a shit about your SP and you haven't changed the story enough. That's why. Lois, every morning I've been waking up a different dude that wants to talk. <laughs> really fucking hell. Jesus. This is my safe place. Oh, good, guys. That's lovely. How can I manifest my desired face? Say, my face is so thin or my skin is so clear or my face shape is perfectly oval or whatever it is you want. I don't want an oval face, but you know what I mean. I don't want to affirm things that I want, but you know what I mean. Whatever it is you want. Well, it was every morning I've been waiting. Oh, I saw that one. I did the schema test and it says I have no core schema. I am broken. Long. <laughs> you have no core schema. Really? I find that hard to believe. So you just randomly, there's really only four key ones. So you must have one of those. There has to be. You did the whole schema test and it, it was across, well, what was the main one? What was the highest score? 
which which category SP might be moving for a job how to affirm to get him to stay to say he loves living here he can't imagine not living here he loves being here with me mm -hmm. oh I'm accidentally sending myself presents but pressing a button how to work on self-concept sit down for 20 minutes and write down all your negative thinking about yourself and then write the opposite as an affirmation and affirm that every day darling how can I ignore my 3D when manifesting an SP? Stop looking at it, or if you can't stop looking at it, accept it. Well, look at this shit. Look at that third party over there that I manifested by thinking that there was competition and now the girls were better than me. Oh, there she is. Wow, I manifested her. I must be a fucking genius. And then think, well, I'm getting rid of that bitch because I created her. Things like that. Subconscious laws sent you likes. I sent myself likes. <laughs> Will... One negative thought affect your successful manifestation? No, guys. One negative thought isn't going to combat the 70,000 other thoughts you had that day. It's one fucking thought. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Miss Alexia, for the roses. What's the schema test? Oh, we were talking about schema therapy and the difference between schema therapy and cognitive behavioral therapy in the live yesterday, and I think a lot of people have gone and found the schema therapy test online. It's a big, long test um, that assesses your core childhood beliefs, basically. Loz, can you explain why random things that you thought pop up immediately and other things take time? Because the other things you've got a resistant thought about, you've got an old story attached to, you think it's probably impossible or hard. And you didn't think the other thoughts are easy, so they manifest quicker. Can you explain? Oh, hang on. I keep manifesting SP back, but he still shows up as the old version. Friends of benefits, how do I get him to commit? You're not getting him to do anything of the sort, darling. You're changing you, and then he'll reflect back the new changes in you, which are... I'm good enough to be the girlfriend. I've got my self-concept on point. I'm the shit. I'm amazing. Of course you want to be my boyfriend because I am the queen of the world. Are you thinking that shit? Or are you just expecting him to commit to a person who doesn't think they're good enough to be the girlfriend and will take crumbs and will take, I'll just have sex with you as a relationship? It's about you, darling. You're accepting the shit and then you're expecting him to change. He'll keep handing out the shit and dishing out the shit because you feel shit about you. Gonna change you. If you feel like the girlfriend, if you build up your self-concept, he'll change. Well, I get random guys messaging me too, but not SP yet. Don't worry, guys. It's called Birds for Learn. It means it's working. I manifested something small today and it just happened. Wonderful, darling. Love the little small affirmations. Small manifestations. Uh, my 3D keeps getting worse. I was just blocked, but I'm trying to give it good meaning. Yes, guys, give it excellent meaning, even if it's absolute shit show. Yes, more tweaking needed with my SP story. The scripting challenge is going to shift it. Yes, good. Do the um, scripting challenge, guys, in the Facebook group. I don't script a lot, but I'm really going to be adamant that I'm doing it every single night, if not the morning as well. Come and join the scripting challenge, guys, in the Facebook group. Uh, SP actually did say we are due for a catch-up, but I said in good time. What would you say that for, Louisa? <laughs> okay. Can you give some scripting examples, please? Okay, so it could be things like, Dear Diary, today we had the most wonderful day, like something describing your day with your SPs, if it happened today. It could be something like, um, The day our baby was born, I've never seen a man look more overjoyed. The look on his face when he picked up our baby and held her in his arms was pure love, and he looked at me like he's never loved me so much in his whole life. Right? Describing the day your baby was born with him. Mm -hmm, something like that. Or um, he took me out the most romantic dinner last night for my birthday. He did this, he did that for me. Or him confessing his love for you in a text or an apology. Or his vows, his wedding vows to you. What things would you want to hear from them? What things would you want to see in the future? What things would imply that your wish is fulfilled now or in the future? Like you can write in past tense, like this happened or this is happening now. What are your thoughts on tarot readers? Look, guys, all they're doing is reflecting your thinking. At the moment, all the tarot popping up on my For You page reflects my dominant new story. If it doesn't reflect the new story, I scroll right past it. Tarot can be a confirmation of your current thinking. If it's bad tarot and it's giving you... No, I don't mean bad tarot. I mean, if they're reflecting things badly and giving you stuff you don't want to hear, news you don't want to hear, I would not recommend you listen to it and I would press not interested or scroll right past that shit because it will throw you. Okay, but if it helps you and it makes you feel like, oh yeah, that's the story, it's reflecting out to this tarot reader on my view page, fantastic, then do it. But I wouldn't recommend it, guys, unless you're really, really confident in the new story. 
Last few tarot readings I've had been my new story really making me believe more and more. Oh, I can't tell you. Every single for you page story is the same. It's like, freak yourself for me. With the scripting challenge, do we have to write the same thing every day? No, 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 different things every day. Or you can do the same if you really want to. Laws, is it okay for sleep affirmations to be covered by white noise? Mm, not really. You've got to hear them. It's up to you guys. Oh, my God, all tarot on my few pages talking about communication. I know it's coming good. I've watched a few tarot videos on YouTube, and they all say the same good things. It's great. Good. Laws, is it okay for sleep... Oh, stop trying to go live with me. I don't go live with people. Laws, is it okay for sleep affirmations to be covered by white noise? I saw that one. How frequently do you personally think about the things you are manifesting? All the time, darling. I think about them all the time. <laughs> I've watched, uh, hang on. If people reflect our thoughts, then we reflect the thoughts of others. So what, what are we really? No, no, no. You're not reflecting the thoughts of others in your reality. They're simply reflecting your thinking in your reality. Over in their reality, you're reflecting their thinking. But you're in your own reality. Everyone's in their own reality. Stop worrying about what you're doing in theirs. Just worry about what you're doing in yours. Um, Loz, can you please help with affirmations to get back with SP before baby is due in December? Your affirmations work like a bomb. <laughs> okay. So, he loves our little family. He loves his life with me. The birth of our baby was the greatest day of his life. He's so overjoyed to have a little family with us. He loves us and he loves me. We bring him a peace and a love he's never felt before. He loves us so much. He loves his life with us. He loves our little family. He does everything for our little family. Mm -hmm. So those things over and over and over again. And have a visualization of him being there, holding the baby, crying, being so happy. Okay? Can too many negative thoughts ruin your manifestation or just delay it? It'll just delay it, guys. How to manifest self-confidence. I am so confident that when I walk in a room, everyone takes notice. I can take hold of any room with my confidence. I feel so confident in my own skin. Mm -hmm. Say all those things, darling. What's the best Neville book to start with? Feeling is the secret, darling. Loz, trying to get myself out of Friends of Benefits to dating, going on 18 months. I affirmed we're dating. Yes, but have you worked on your self-concept that allows you to get in a Friends with Benefits situation in the first place, darling, and not feel good enough to be the girlfriend? Have you worked on that? That's why. You probably feel like you're not good enough. Probably put him on a pedestal. Change all that. What do you think about Sammy Ingram? She's very good. SB said he wants to talk but hasn't called me in over a week because of work. How do I firm to have a talk? Say I'm his top priority. Work isn't a priority to him. I am. He's constantly calling me. Mm -hmm. I'm coming back with a success story. Lots. Great, darling. Um, can you give me an affirmation example of SP unblocking me and communicating, please? He's constantly calling and texting me. Don't worry about the blocking. He's constantly calling and texting me. He can't go a day without hearing my voice. He needs to talk to me or he doesn't feel right. Say those things, darling. Imagine an image of him picking up his phone and just unblocking you or calling you. Mm -hmm. What if SP is married? Should I just give up? He kept saying he couldn't give me what I want. Darling, you've got to assess, first of all, how you got yourself in a situation where you pick someone who wasn't going to choose you. It's probably because you feel deep down in yourself that you won't be chosen or you're not good enough. That's why you chose that person in the first place. You've got to work on your self-concept, feel chosen and wanted and loved and lovable. Then you've got to start saying, circumstances don't matter. It doesn't matter that he's married. He wants me in any way. He can give me everything I want because all he wants is me and we are together. But you've got to work on why you got yourself in that situation in the first place and every single time when someone gets with someone who's unavailable, it's because they actually don't believe they're going to be the girlfriend or the wife. And also, they might feel more comfortable not revealing their true selves to people so they get in friends with benefit situations or affairs because they don't have to reveal their true selves and be vulnerable because it's too fucking scary. Are you doing that? Thanks, Loz. Having a human moment wasn't being the best version for now, but I'm still affirming. Don't worry, I see we all do. Uh, I have manifested a movement with SP, but our conversations are boring and short. What did I do, Loz? Well, stop saying they're boring and short. Just say he loves talking to me. We spend hours talking on the phone. He's so flirty with me. He's constantly being so affectionate when we talk and so flirty and so so sexy with me every time he talks to me. We have so much fun on the phone. Mm -hmm. My SP always called me his star. I've been seeing things about stars everywhere lately. Oh, I love that. Can we manifest dating a celebrity even if they don't know of our existence? Yes, guys, just imagine you and them together. They're just people like everyone else. 
Can you tell me more about revision? Revising some things I've said and done in the past days. So go back to the scene of what happened. Imagine you didn't say what you said. Change what you said to what you wish was said. Change what you heard to what you wish was heard. Change what you seen to what you wish was seen. Okay, change the whole scene and then loop it over and over in your mind a couple of times until it feels natural like that's what happened. That's a good one, Loz, about picking unavailable men because we don't want to be vulnerable. Yep, that's why I always pick people with girlfriends. I used to find them in a room and then they'd tell me ages later, oh, they've got, I've got a girlfriend. I'd be like, again, how am I finding you in a fucking room? Or they'd be not over their ex. Or they'd have issues. Or there'd be some fucking thing. Or they'd be an alcoholic. There's something else they were choosing other than me every time because I did not feel chosen. So I wouldn't get chosen, would I? Because they were literally choosing something else. An ex, a wife, a girlfriend, alcohol, drugs, whatever. Well, I've never been a drug addict, but you know what I mean? Do we need to believe? Or the belief is created while we keep affirming? No. The belief is created while you're affirming. Don't believe anyone who says you have to believe it. You have no control over the belief. Exactly what you said in the second half of that is right, darling. Suggest an affirmation to avoid laziness. I am so motivated. I jump out of bed every morning, get everything done. When I do my to-do list, I get all of it done at the end of the day. I am so productive. Mm -hmm. How do we combat intrusive thoughts? I have one around SP. I'm flipping them, but they give me anxiety. Well, darling, all it is is negative thinking. I don't believe in this intrusive thoughts business. They're not intruding on you. They're just thoughts that are more dominant than the other thoughts that are positive. So just say the complete opposite of whatever that intrusive thought is about your SP. Loz, it worked. I book a call with you, and so I had to come back after six months, but rejected him. What? Loz, it worked. I booked a call with you, and so had come back after six months, but rejected him. What are you talking about? Loz, it worked. I booked a call with you and so had come back after six months but rejected him. Oh, so oh, your SP came back. I'm really confused. What happened? So an SP had come back after six months but rejected him. Oh, so he came back after six months after our call but you, you don't want him anymore. <laughs> Is that what's happening? <laughs> what's happening? You don't want him. Loz, how do I book a call with you? I don't do them anymore, guys. Sorry. I'm bringing out courses instead because then I can serve everyone all at once rather than one at a time. Because I booked a call with you in June and my SP came back after six months, but I rejected him. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so you didn't want him after all. Wonderful, darling. You don't need to want them, guys. You don't have, look, if you manifest them back, you don't want them, fine. So I don't have to believe the affirmations. You have no control over whether you believe them, darling. You can try and believe it all you like, but you have no control over when that happens. It's a neural pathway in your brain that you have no control over. I booked a, oh, I saw that one. Hi, Loz. My SP just told me we'll never get back together, even though I've been affirming for months. It doesn't matter, darling. It's just your old thoughts manifest out of his mouth. Did you think at one point you would never get together? Did you think at one point he didn't love you? That's why he's saying it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about what they say. Just be like, okay, and then affirm the opposite. When will your courses be out? I'm keen. Oh, great, God, darling. When I get off these calls, when I get off these lives, I've got to get off these lives, to be completely honest with you. <laughs> I've got to stop doing such long lives. Is it contradicting if you believe you're with your SP and believe it will eventually show up in 3D? Well, I'd rather you believe it's here already. That's less contradictory, okay? Have you tried self-hypnosis? I've been hypnotized, but in a kind of a past life regression. I've never done it myself. But it's a great idea if you can do it. Hypnotize yourself with your new affirmations. All right, guys, I've got to go. Please do follow me if you don't follow me already. I go live twice daily. Please do come and follow us also in the Facebook group where I save all these lives. I'm about a month and a bit behind at the moment. But you can join our challenge we have at the moment for scripting. It's going to go for two weeks scripting a story or a, a confessional from your SP or something every day in a journal or on a piece of paper that's really reiterating the new story of what you want. Okay, come and join us and please do put the notifications on if you follow me. All right, guys, I'll see you soon.